Hi friends, I've been thinking today about um, the education of, of business leaders. So um, I'm here right now at, at Draper University in San Mateo, where I've completed the seven week um, kind of entrepreneurship program. And today I visited um, California College of the Arts, which teaches um, uh, design strategy in the MBA program, which is focused purely on building, creating business leaders who understand um, process of design and how it's applied to business. And it got me thinking about um, what is it that we're really doing when we do business. And um, what I realized is that um, what organizations have been for the last 150, 200 years is um, systems and processes um, that imitate machines, that cr try to uh, use resources, um, including people, to um, create some effects in the market and extract value from the market. Now, the problem with this approach um, is that um, this machine-like um, system exists within um, very dynamic systems, um, like the market is a very dynamic system. Um, the market is um, the economic market, but then outside of that also the ecology um, of um, the social environment public environment and so on. And those things are extremely dynamic. They're nuanced, they're complex, there's no black and white, they're very, very gray, they're very complicated, and they are very chaotic systems, they're not rational systems, they, they are um, very chaotic and dynamic. And on the other end, you have the resources of people. And if, we, if we say, let's say, um, if we think about the resources of production, land, labor, and capital, then, you know, people are the most dynamic. And yet, people are, in many organizations, the most important assets that, that they have. So when we think about um, how difficult it is to manage people um, in an organization, human resources is a, a term that many people hate, um, <laughs> no matter whether you're in it or not, because you, you can't just treat people as resources. And that this is uh, the way that the system is built. So how do we... How do we, if we think about a new organization, how do we think of that? It must be um, a, a set of systems that is also chaotic, that is dynamic in the way that it's built. So that's kind of inspiring. We have the opportunity to redesign the way business works, the way organizations are structured. They can no longer be um, systems of rationalized processes. They must be um, systems of dynamic, complex, chaotic organizations that take the inputs, all the dynamic inputs, and use them to extract value from the dynamic market. And conceived in that way, um, there's, um, you know, the building businesses is exciting venture, and also working for businesses is an exciting venture, because as an as part of the input for production, to use the old terminology, um, you're part of a system that it works symbiotically with you. And that's just not the case in existing organizations. Existing organizations, by the way that they're built, as rationalized machine-like structures, simply seek to extract value from employees. But a system which is built dynamically, chaotically, and so on, um, cannot possibly function that way. So, yeah, that's my that's my thesis right now. Um, curious to hear your thoughts. Um, what is it about the um, existing businesses that um, leaves them wanting more? How do we create new businesses in the future? I'm curious if you've seen um, businesses, if you have examples of businesses that are already structured in this way that are dynamic um, uh, systems. I'd love to hear about them. All right, that's it today. See you tomorrow.